In this video, I'm going to show you how to create realistic ghost notes in Reaper. Now previously, I made a video where I showed you how to create realistic drums using drum software. And I've reopened that project right here. Where I've recorded the drums into this MIDI, along with a bass and a few guitars. And as a review, it sounded like this. And I got a lot of comments on that video talking about how I recorded those ghost notes. And I did it with a unit that looks like this, where I used drum pads and played the ghost notes. But I'm sure most of you aren't drummers, so I'm going to show you how to do the same thing by drawing in the notes. So let's open up the MIDI item by double clicking. Here's the drum part. And as you'll notice, there's no ghost notes right now. I've just programmed the twos and fours on the snare. But to add ghost notes manually, I change my grid down here to 30 second notes. Then I go up here and start drawing notes. Here's the snare track I'm going to use. And if I click right now, it plays a very loud snare hit. We could lower the velocity right here. I like to put it around 35, which will sound more like a ghost note or a softly hit snare that leads us from one beat to another. Then I could delete this one. And any note I create after that is going to have that velocity. So I put one here and here. I have two ghost notes right there. And we could also paint it to make it quicker. Hold on Alt Control on the PC, Option Command on the Mac, and just draw it in like this. And that creates two ghost notes next to each other that are a 30 second note long. Let's put a few over here. And a few more over here. A few more over here. And here. Put some here. And here. Here as well. And you can do as many as you want, or as little as you want. But notice how it adds more feel and a more realistic performance to the drums. As the drummer is syncopating with the left hand, but playing the notes softer while still keeping time. Let's hear it back from the beginning. And to hear it clearer, let's turn off the other instruments so we can really hear the ghost notes. Again, in the track. Put 
put more over here. That was the wrong sample. Maybe over here. Let's fix this build. Do the same over here. And just like that, we created more realistic jump part by drawing in some ghost notes on the snare. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create realistic ghost notes in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.